the stage that uh, now that I have a microphone, I can get really intimate, intimate with you. And, we can, and I can tell you this story because this story was really, um, is a wonderful story that I heard a little while ago. It's, and it's an old legend of the Salish people who live, who used to live in this land and, and uh, do whatever they wanted here. Um, and it's the story of the first, uh, the first singer, uh, you know, and the first song. And, um, and, I, and I always used to wonder, like, uh, who sang the first song? And they say, they say around these parts that the, there was a little girl who was um, very curious, very mischievous, a bit of a trickster. And, uh, and she used to ask so many questions, and she, she was never satisfied, never satiated. And, and one day she got it in her head that, that she wondered, why couldn't people fly? And everyone said, well, people just can't fly. It's just, it's just not possible. You can't fly. You're a person. You don't fly. People don't fly. And, and, and she said, but, but what if I just go and ask the birds? Maybe they'll teach me how to fly. And so she went and asked all the, all the different kinds of birds whether they teach her how to fly. And eventually she got to the crows and they said, okay, listen, if you'll be quiet, you can ride on our back for a little while, okay? But just no funny business, okay? No funny business. And she says, cross my heart, hope to die, no funny business. I won't, I won't make any mischief. And they said, okay, if you're good, we'll, we'll carry you on our backs for a little while. And so she got on their back and she started sailing up and up and up, above the trees, above her village, soaring up above the sky itself. And she looked down below and the exhilaration she felt was so strong that her real nature came out. And she started to jump up and down on top of the crow's back. And, uh, and uh, she got so excited and she was jumping up and down and, and she was just, she was screaming to the sky out of pure joy. And the crow said, okay, that's it. You're off. And dumped her. And she fell all the way down to earth, but as she fell, the sound she made was a mixture of fear and joy and exhilaration and, and completion of maybe a final satiation of her curiosity. And it could be heard throughout all the land. And it was so beautiful that uh, ever since then, people have been copying it. And that's the story of the first song. <clears throat>
birds of a dove. So come dance with me and show me a part of your song. You might get to know me. I'll be glad. Spirit